Hi, welcome to the late night big breakfast. Thanks for joining us. We've got a fantastic show for you today. All that and more after this break. It's going on tonight. Well, we're joined now by Deborah Fairfax from Baby First. Um, <coughs> well, firstly, I mean, what is Baby First, Deborah? Now, Baby First is a company that we established basically to help parents just within that first 12 months of when they first had a baby, maybe up to 18, but, you know, those first 12 months. Okay, so that's a crucial time, I suspect, you know... Yeah, especially, it's pretty daunting, especially if it's your first child, so, um, you know, we well, just want to... I'm pretty daunted now, I haven't had, <laughs> I haven't had a child myself. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Danny Jason, doing we, great. we should really thank um, Daniel from Upholstery for um, just yeah. supplying the, this little one for the purpose of this um, segment. He's lovely. <laughs> yeah. This one's <laughs> for purpose of the people at home, what is breastfeeding as such? It's um, basically the most natural way for a mother to feed her child. The breast milk's got everything that the baby needs in it, so they don't need to supplement it with anything else. Well, if, I, if I could cut in there, like, do different kind of nipples give different kind of flows? Yep, yeah? yep, it's all individual. Um, some yeah, women there have, are a lot of different nipples there out. Are, there there are, are. Yes, Actually, I yes. think we've got um, a shot up here. Just to well, here, well, there, okay, there's a selection of different nipples there, Deborah. Obviously, um, yep. No two are alike, so no. it's big. a huge and variety. No, some women, you know, have a really strong flow, some women find it harder. Um, some women have inverted nipples, I don't know if you've come across those. Oh, crater nips. Crater nips, yeah. Does that, right. what's the sort of scenario? How would, would you that affect? To... Um, well, yeah, it can cause it, make it quite difficult for the baby to get the milk to come out, but, you know, it doesn't mean it's impossible. You certainly would, and we, we were touching on the nipples before. I was just, one thing I was curious with. Deborah, actually, too, and I, I don't know if you're aware, I'm sure you are aware of it, also, like, nipple piercings. Well, well, firstly, it must be incredibly painful, but does that affect the... Well, I, mean, I don't think there are many young babies that have had their nipples pierced. I mean, I, I'd, I'd... No, I was meaning in the terms of the actual, the actual mother OK, feeding. yeah, OK. Yeah, I would so. imagine that most people that had nipple piercings would take them out when they were needing okay. to feed. And, and I think, Lee, you'd be quite surprised on that. I mean, I know in certain countries like Argentina, as soon as the baby is born, they do... Um, they get a... a uh... Well, we are talking about breastfeeding here, later talking about burping of the babies. Um, Breastfeeding, a lot of people have a problem with their breastfeeding in public. Mm. I, I, say, I personally don't have a problem with it at all, but um, why do you think some people uh, find uh, take um, issue with that? Well, I think historically it used to be frowned upon. It was definitely something done in the privacy of your own home. But there still is a certain amount of uh, your disapproval from some people. Well, I, I, I imagine even from a woman's perspective, you know, if you're in a cafe, it's not just a case of flopping your breast out and feeling comfortable. Not for know. everybody, no. no. I'll tell you what, we've got some footage of that. Um, let's take a look at that now. Certainly not an ideal situation by any stretch of, of, of the imagination. We'll be back right after this infomercial. Hey man, what do you got there? Leather Guard 5, Lee. What's that for? You rub it into leather. How does it work? All the directions are right here on the back of the box. Great, and where would I get it? You can get it from here, or you can go to the website. You just joined us, you're watching The Late Night Big Breakfast. We've got a great show lined up for you. Penny more to come after this break. MTM, touching you. MTM, we just want to touch you. It's going on tonight. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're here with Deborah Fairfax from Baby First. We're talking about breastfeeding, um, baby health, baby maintenance, I suppose you'd call it. In terms of, you know, when a baby's crying like this, um, I mean, my, my natural instinct, you know, not being a father, is to put her somewhere where I can't hear her. There must be better ways of dealing with a crying baby, uh, you know, that... And a baby like that's certainly too small to smack at this stage, isn't it? Mm. Yes, no, we don't, we don't recommend smacking them at any stage. Um, mm. Usually there's a reason for them to cry. Right. Um, possibly she's hungry, right. or she's wet, or she doesn't know. Uh, you guys carry Go on. Go chat with Dan. What's his name? Dan. 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 Upholstery. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm a father now, as um, as is Matt to, to a degree. Um, when I'm trying to burp a baby, I feel like burping myself. Is that a common sensation? Well, um, quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, it's strange. We've got some footage actually, um, not of me, but of a similar sort of thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, well, they... <laughs> that's. that's... <laughs> No, I don't know. It could be. I think, Lee, what you've touched on there is really similar. Same sort of thing when you have a shower, you feel like doing wheeze. Similar sort of thing, possibly. Is it? Possibly. Just I'd the sound of. Not... And when it rains, I always feel like doing wheeze as well. When, right. it, when it was a heavy rain for I'm driving along. Um, who did you say it was? Dan. What, what, what section was he in? Well, he's on that, that upholstery thing. Upholstery. Upholstery. Yeah. Oh, is that down the back there? Yeah. Just past the computer desks? The, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's a funny one, Deb, you know, I'll, I'll be driving along in the car and uh, there's a heavy downpour and the next one of... Deborah, thanks for coming on. Fantastic for having me. You. Good luck with the, um, with what you're doing. I, I believe the website now is showing um, how to get in touch with you. If you've got any um, problems with your babies, that kind of stuff, and you need to um, discuss it, get in touch with Deborah and, uh, and I'm sure they can help out. Thanks for coming on. Thanks. Right here, right now.